Scott, great points there. And obviously talking to a tax advisor, like you point out, is very important. But Scott, let's get back to the markets here. And 2023 has been dominated by the Magnificent Seven. We're not talking about the movie. Mm. We're talking about the top seven big tech stocks. They're carrying the S&P 500. They include Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, NVIDIA, Meta, Microsoft, and Tesla. I ask you, the analysts, can their dominance continue? Can the market rally without them? Just take the inverse of your question, because you're talking about seven stocks uh, that represent now 30% of the S&P 500. 12 months ago, that was 21% of the S&P 500. These seven stocks are up about 70% year to date as of the taping of this video, while the other 493 up about 6%. So certainly warrants the question, could a rally continue without them? Certainly we're investing in the S&P 500 as that benchmark, that's that widely held known, this is the market, and it's a market cap weighted index, meaning the bigger the company, the larger the weighting. So over time, could the market rally without them? And I don't believe it can. I believe that the market does need the largest names. And again, when I speak the market, I'm saying the S&P 500 does need those largest names to continue higher. I'm not saying that the broad index can't rally along with it, but I believe in order for the market to go higher, you do need the largest names to be participating in that rally at the very least.